Hello folks, time for another video and the shave. All right, well, nasty rainy day here in good old New Jersey. It's actually like, I think 50 degrees right now. Still got snow on the ground, but the rain's melting in a way. So anyway, today we're gonna be doing a shave with a PAA product, meaning Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, that was just, I wanna say discontinued, but basically taken off of their roster, which is the Wow Signal 2020. And I bought this soap when it was re-released in 2020. And because I was sent to sample in one of my PA orders, like, like, you know, last year or two years ago or whenever. And I just was like, this is an interesting scent. Now to me, when I open the container and I take a good whiff, I get hit with like a, it's hard to explain, like a beer, like a cerveza, like a, a good pilsner, you know, nice lot, not really like a lager, kind of like a Killian's Red scent. Now I'm going to pop up the scent profile here. I know the soap isn't available anymore, but I'm going to pop up the scent now. Boom. And you can take a look at it. I know it's a little, got some complicated scents in there, but what I get out of it, like I said, is like a beer scent. I just like it. And I never really see this ever in any YouTube videos. I believe Jeremy, the traveling shaver, has uh, put out a video. But I did a video on this when it came out. And the other reason why I picked this soap up when I did was it has a great backstory with the uh, big ear, uh, you know, uh, space antenna, which is basically like a, you know, giant. Not the satellite dishes that are on the actual label. It's a. Uh, if you watch the video, I'll pop it up in the corner. You know, I, I, I went into the whole story and looked at it, and Douglas had a great story in it. And that's another reason why I always sometimes pick up soaps from PAA. So, yeah, the wow signal. Pretty much going to be all PAA today, except for the blade and the bowl. And we're using today a razor that my buddy Josh sent me. The handle's a little tiny here for me. It's short. But this is the original uh, PAA DOC, dual open comb, nickel plated. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but there's the little PAA logo, the little Phoenix bird under there, I think. And it's dual open comb. And blade I have in there today is a treat platinum. I don't know, I just said, let me just mash this up and give it a shot. Little treat platinum in there today. And we're using the Peregrino brush today from PAA. The Peregrino brush with that awesome Roswell knot. And it's all been whipped up nicely in the timeless bowl. All right, so let's wet the face. Definitely need a shave here going on. I'm actually a little excited about something else's. I got a new little computer action going on. I kind of have a dedicated, I bought a, a Mac mini because my laptop, my Mac laptop that I edit my videos on was getting up there in age and it wouldn't take any more updates. So I purchased a Mac mini because it's an inexpensive Mac. To edit my videos and it's going to be only for editing videos not that my videos are complicated but i don't really edit anything except for my beginning and ending title cards and i adjust the sound a little bit so it'll be exciting to do that and today is friday so it's kind of early in the morning mm, great scent so we'll see how that goes today video should be up in the afternoon maybe sooner if this if it edits quicker i hope it does because my other laptop took hours and hours just to compile it all right so the doc from phoenix nickel plated treat platinum i'm not a big fan of open comb razors but if i remember from past shaves this one is pretty 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 nice and smooth I just don't like the uh, the teeth. 
on some open comb razors, they're kind of toothy. Little, you know, rough on the face. Not that the blade is rough, it's like the teeth from the razor itself. But this one is nice. The handle is a little short for me, but I can always put another handle on it, but just kind of keeping it in one piece the way that my buddy Josh sent it to me. And thank you, Josh, for the razor and all the other hundreds of goodies that you sent me over the years. Yeah, the weather's totally... totally nasty today. The rain actually woke me up this morning at like 4 o'clock. But I was like, hey, you know what? That's okay because I got a lot of stuff to do today. Perfect day to do a shave and a video. Very nice. Yeah, it's a bummer that, uh, PAA discontinued the wow signal. I really enjoy the scent of that soap. Oh, by the way, it's in CK4, the CK6 formula. In case I forgot to mention that before. And you know another soap that I was thinking about the other day? That's been discontinued by PAA, I think last year or the year before, was Aqua D. Because I know he did a uh, fundraiser soap with the same scent, which is the Aqua de Parma. And I have Aqua D. Also, but that one was actually discontinued I think over a year ago, but he came up with his new list and the wow signal was on. And I was like, wow, because I had that soap and I didn't expect him to discontinue that one. But it probably wasn't like a massive big seller. I don't know why, because the scent is awesome. At least I think so. Like I said, I really haven't seen any YouTube videos on it. I think I used this three times on camera. But like I said, I'll leave the link up there for the one where I kind of explain the whole... What the wow signal is. Extraterrestrial radio. <laughs> the fun stuff. Is just go field second pass with the nickel plated DOC. I'm actually hungry, so my stomach might be making some noises. Nice. I actually have to run out in this nasty weather today to return some Amazon products. They make it more of a pain in the neck now to return stuff. Before it was easy. Like if you need to return something from Amazon, it was like they would just email you the QRC code. 
you drop it off at the UPS store, you didn't even have to like package it up right. Now I want you to like print out the label, take it to a, like this return, I have to go take it to the coal store. I don't even know where that is. I think we have one in the town next to me, but yeah, if they wanted me to return it on UPS, they wanted to charge me. And I was like, what is their free return? So was that Coles in the next town over? But oh, whatever. They actually sent me product that was not what I ordered. Totally something different. So who knows? All right, as you can tell, the slickness is awesome because it is CK6. Just wipe down the counter. All right, let's check that. Oh, yeah. Just a little jawline. Touch up there, as usual. I should have did the shave before the product was discontinued, but kind of got really busy. But you know, life. Now the heat came on, which I'm shocked because it's rather. I'm not going to say super warm outside, but it's not cold like it back it's been. Like the other day was like, you know, 15 degrees. All right, that's awesome. So let's empty good old Simon through the sink. He's going to be full of nice whiskers. All right, let's do a quick little cold water rinse. Ooh, that's so cold. Nice. Let's get that lather out of the old ears. All right. Let's reach for the old Lancaster towel. Or as I call it, the Lancaster water magnet. All right, that's nice. It's kind of dry off the shirt. So that was the Lancaster towel. All right, so let's recap the good old shave before I do my post. That was the Wow Signal 2020. That has now been kind of put on the back burner at PAA good scent and it's also I guess as it is in the CK6 formula and I didn't pop that up for you but there that is I don't know if you can read that or not Mew. CK6 but I always link the I always link down below so even though it's not available so leave the link to PAA and that was the Peregrino brush today with the awesome Roswell knot and the Timeless Ball with still plenty of lather left. And Razor today was the PAA DOC nickel plated with that little stubby handle though. Boo. Still like it though. Very nice shaver. And there was a treat platinum in there today. Very nice. All right, so let's finish the shave with some matching star jelly. I haven't used star jelly in a while. That used to be my go-to. But what is star jelly? Well, for me, it's just like an aftershave splash, but in a jelly form. It goes on nice and smooth. You still get a little little zing-a-zing, 
little bit of menthol in it. Like I said, basically to me, it's like a uh, jellied aftershave. Especially good in the winter time too, because you go outside and you, you get blasted by that cold wind. Good protection on the face. Great post. I really like it. All righty. Awesome shave. Got my hands all wet. Touching the counter. All right, folks. So if you enjoyed today's The Wow Signal Shave. Too bad that it's been pulled off of PA's lineup. But, uh, yeah. It's a great scent. See if you can pick it up maybe on a, you know, for sale on another board. On some of the Facebook boards or eBay or something or. Maybe somebody's got something they want to sell. Maybe Douglas will bring it back next year. We'll have to see. But if you like the shave today, thumbs up if you didn't like it. I know the thumbs down now has changed. It's just like a dislike. I really like to know like who like doesn't like my videos. Because they used to show. Now it doesn't show. Anyway, please subscribe. We're slowly climbing the subscriber ladder to get a giveaway going on soon. And yeah, stay safe out there. If you're on the East Coast, stay dry because it is raining. And have a good upcoming weekend. And until next shave, Glenn signing off.